What I have here is a dowel indicator inside of a block and I use this to measure my fence to make micro adjustments to the fence. So what I'm going to do today is show you how I made it and actually I'm going to modify this one and make a better version of it. So this one had two magnets so this is very strong on the table and I just made a small lever to help release the magnets. I'm measuring my dowel indicator and it's 2.3 inches and I have a Forstner bit here that's two and a half inches so that'll work fine. Now I'm going to make this cut right here, so I've set the blade height and put a stop block so I don't cut all the way through the block. That was my first cut and I see I have to move the block a little bit because I don't want to cut it too far. So I'll just move it slowly and keep making the cut until I get it spot on. So I'll just make a pencil mark and now move this block a tiny bit and test it again. So just a tiny bit more. That should be fine. So there you can see it is cut at the right depth and the right thickness. And what I'm going to do is the dowel indicator will go inside and the stem of the Dell indicator will fit in that slot like so, but the other way around. So now I'm going to use this tiny Forstner bit and that will be used to drill out this end of the block. Similar to this one, this piece fits in this slot and it's just a friction fit. And I'll do the same with this one. I've cut this the exact thickness and it'll fit in very tight. But the first thing I have to do is drill a hole and that is for this bracket to rest in. Here I've cut the runner and I just put my square, clamped it onto the block and I'll just glue it on. Screws aren't necessary because if you glue a strip of wood onto another piece, try to take it apart. It will not come off. So I'm going to cut one end at an angle and I should have done that first before I put the runner on but I'll just use a block and cut it through like this.
I'm going to put in the magnet and I'll just use some Gorilla Glue. I've used this before and it works fine. Now I have the magnet in. I have it at a, a nice angle. Now I can put the dowel indicator in. And it's just a pressure fit. So just use the back of a screwdriver. And that's all. And that'll stay in for a long time. Like I said, I made this one years ago and I did the same thing and it hasn't moved once. But this way, if you ever want to pop it out to use it for something else, you can. Now I'll show you the three ways you can use this jig. So here I can measure the table saw alignment. I can do the fence alignment. And I did this one a while back, so I don't want to mess it up. That's two, and then the third one is to measure to fine adjust the fence. And I didn't use a strong magnet this time. This, this one, it works fine. So once it's set, it won't move at all. And I left this little handle so you can easily pick it up and put it back. Here is my dowel indicator. And remember you can always um, pop this thing out very easy and use it for other things. And if you want to get a dowel indicator, I'll leave a link in the description um, where you can get one for about 20 bucks. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll talk to you guys soon.